Hello guys, good morning, good morning sa inyong lahat and welcome guys to MPQ Tourism Live. I'm Juni Franco Sorsano, a vlogger from Dubai, the sales manager of MPQ Tourism. So, nandito tayo ngayon guys to explain to everyone po what are the different visas, okay, of UAE. So, any one of you guys who are watching us today, we are open guys to any of your questions regarding po visas, okay. It's either Dubai visa, Sharjah visa, what are the requirements, uh, who are the quali what are the qualifications I mean and anything about visas okay so you may share this guys to your friends okay especially sa mga gusto pong pumunta dito sa UAE it's either from the Philippines or from other countries okay so for now I'm going to share this in my Facebook pages para po mas marami po ang marating ng ating live streaming kaya for the meantime guys uh, of course I'm gonna play my favorite song from my very good friend, Mr. Rani Rimundo. <laughs> this is like a favorite na nating lahat. Na, no? Sana sa lahat ng mga viewers ko, especially it's either in my Facebook page or in my YouTube channel or here at MPQ Tourism page, eh, makabisado nyo na ang kantang to. Okay, so, to those who ask questions, please don't be shy guys. Write down in the comment box below para po masagutan po natin yan. Okay? So stand by. Hello Bel Monte Castro, good morning. Galileo reference number. Meron akong pakalawang sinin. Kasi may sinin ako kanina isa magulo. May nagsinda ko ulit. Hi Justin. Hello Precious Santos, good morning. Okay guys, so good morning again guys and welcome to MPQ Tourism Live. So today guys, we'll be talking about different types of visas. Okay, this is a general information po natin. Or this is a specific topic na pag-uusapan natin today all about visas. Okay, so first we have here a question from Muhammad Muvin. Can we know the rates also dear? Okay, 
Um, I think his first question earlier was how much is the cost for one month visa? Okay, this is our market rate guys now for those who would like to avail just visa alone one month visa cost around 450 dirhams okay but if you're going to avail that here in mpq for as long as it's a package so definitely it will be lower than that okay so for one month visa guys we're actually offering a visa from dubai because the dubai visa is more not more, less expensive, can I say that, or more affordable compared to other visas from other Emirates. So here in MPQ Tourism, we're offering a Dubai visa for one-month visa applicants. Okay, so, and we're also offering a 90 days visa. This is called Leisure Visa from Dubai, but it's one cost 2200 Ooh, this is from where? We'll just get this call. I should get this call. Hello, good morning. Hello, ma. Yes, ma. Sino po? Lisa. Yes, ma. Is it for exit, ma'am, or is it from Philippines? Okay, for exit, ma'am, uh, para po kanino. Is it for you? Para po sa inyo? Friends, po, depende po kasi ma'am yung 3 months visa po natin, we have age restriction. So, are they female or male po? Hmm. Ah, okay, good. So, since she's, she's 31 years old, ma'am, our package for uh, exit, we have air, airport to airport, to one, uh, 2,150. Mm -mm, but this is just within 24 hours uh, approval naman, ma'am. We have lower than that, ma'am, pero we have Oman, Oman exit po by land. It will be 1,700. Pero ma'am, uh, for Sharjah visa po, kasi ma'am na 3 months visa, medyo mabagal sila ng konti when it comes to approval. So we suggest po for Sharjah visa applications na 90 days, airport to airport po talaga pinaka the best way. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Magkano po? Ooh. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sabi mo nasa 2150. We can give ng 21, ma'am, but never talaga na mababa na po masyari. Tumaas po kasi lahat ngayon, oo. Okay, sige ma'am, please po. Okay, if that's, if that's the case, ma'am, since tomorrow, we have to book it now as early as possible po. Kasi minsan, sa airport to airport natin, nauubos yung seats. Ha, ma'am, ha? Okay, sige pa. Okay, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. Alright, okay, bye-bye. What will I do? Okay, oh uh, God, I got a lot of calls. <laughs> Wait lang. Later na sila. But this is from Philippines. I have to go. I don't know if this is urgent. Wait lang, guys, ha? Hello, good morning. Hello, hello. Okay, so now, uh, dito kayo sa may Okay, okay. So it's either today or This is sure. Okay, Okay, copy po. Thank you so much po. Okay. Alright, bye-bye. Ah, uh, you said it's 14,000? Ah, okay. Thank you. Say bye-bye. Alright, so that, that's that's it guys. So sorry kasi it's it's office hours and wala tayong choice. Okay, so now let's go back to some of the questions na nandito na. Can we have, sabi ni Precious, uh, nabasa na natin si Precious, may quit bang immigration ng UAE gaya ng sa Pinas? Okay, the answer to that guys is no. Okay, what the immigration officers needed if you are traveling here lang is that of course your visa and of course a return ticket to origin. Okay, for example guys, ganito po yun. For example, if you are from Philippines at nag-travel ka dito, what they will just going to check is of course your visa and yung ticket mo na returning to Philippines. If you are from other country, na hindi ka naman naka-residence visa doon, 
your final your return ticket should be in the Philippines because you are a Filipino citizen. But for example, we have friends ano, from let's say from US, from Canada, na pupunta sila dito as a tourist since they have employment uh, visa doon. The return to ticket should be going back to Canada. So dapat mo kumalino yun ha. And sabi po ni can we know the rates? Okay. Good morning din sa yo sabi ni Bell. Ayan, and what else? And oh, hello sa mga naka-online. Hello kay Ara Hipolito to John Henry Miranda, to Franz Lauren, to Riz Jose, to Onin Aziron. Guys, I am encouraging everyone to all our viewers, especially to my friends from my Facebook page and from my other pages, social media pages. Please guys, do like Epic Tourism page for you guys to be updated of all the what the, goodness, the uh, promotions that we have, of course, and some updates about travels, okay? Because our team, especially me, I'm sharing in our Facebook page, kung let's say, ano nga ba yung mga anything that can, any links, okay? Or news na maaari pong makatulong po sa atin when it comes to travel. That's why we shared po yung, di ba, we have the new ID now, na OAC is now wala na, and it is now replaced with IDOL, or IDOLE, I think they call it IDOL, Kaya yun. So, there are so many reasons why why you need to like our Facebook page. Okay, so guys, ito, uh, I will just explain, no, some of, asan ako? Okay, different types of visas, okay? I know kasi I heard some of my clients, some of my friends are saying, Kuya, my sister is under mission visa. Kuya, may ganito, I wanted to get a student visa. Kuya, I wanted to avail multi a multi -ent multiple entry visa yung something ganon so at least today we can help you guys uh, identify yung different visas okay so not only just for Dubai visa we will also going to discuss kung mayroon pa tayong time if how you can avail visa going to Shenzhen countries to Canada to UK to US pahapyaw lang okay so uh, Asa na tayo? Sabi ni Edlyn Aquino, Sir, wala po ba? Wala po ako kamag-anak dyan sa Dubai, pero gusto ko po magpunta dyan. Nandito pa ako sa Hong Kong ngayon. Paano po procedure at magkano po ang magagastos? Hello, Ed. Okay, since you are not from the Philippines, sabi ko nga, our travelers, Filipino travelers, na hindi from the Philippines, it's very easy, guys, to come here as a tourist. All you need is just apply to us your visa, your Dubai visa, and Ito po ang requirements, okay? We have to know first your age and your gender. Okay, ulitin ko po. For male, okay, 18 years old and below, okay, and, 50, uh, and 60 years old and above, kailangan po meron kayong immediate family, and when you say immediate family, should be your parents, brother, sister, husband, wife, son, daughter. Yun lang po yung options. If you have those immediate family na binabanggit ko, you can apply, guys, a three months visa, which is from Sharjah visa. And yung rate po and your ticket, depending on your travel date kasi. So you have to tell us when is your travel date para magbigyan namin kayo ng correct quotation. Okay, but for females, naman na 59 years old, no, no, sorry, why I'm saying 59 years old? For females, 30 years old and below and 60 years old and above, kailangan din po may immediate family. Okay? So, linisin natin yung explanation ko. For those who are from not in the Philippines, if you wanted to avail it's just one month visa going to Dubai, it's very easy, guys, for you to apply for the visa. What we need is just your passport copy na more than six months in validity. Okay? And of course, we need at least a guarantor, anyone, it can be your relative or close friends, na nandito sa UAE. The reason for that is of course, in case of overstaying, at least we know who to contact or to remind you. Kasi guys, please avoid na mag-overstay po kayo dito sa UAE because you, hindi mo alam anytime maaari kang makasuhan ng absconding. And if you have absconding case, any ongoing processing po ng any employment visa na meron ka man or something, eh hindi po maa-approve yan. It will be rejected. Okay? So, 
So, yun nga. So, sa lahat ng kumukuha ng gusto mag-avail ng one month lang, it's very easy. So, all you need to do is just apply to us your one month visa and then your ticket. So, send us message guys in MPQ Tourism page or in my account, in my Facebook pages. Wala pong problema. Just tell us when is your travel date at saan ka manggagaling. And then with that, madali na pong pumunta sa Dubai as a tourist visa. Okay, but for those who would like to avail talaga yung 3 months visa or they call it 90 days visa or long-term visas, yung qualification kanina na sinabi ko na age restrictions. To those females, 30 years old and below and 60 years old and above, male, 18 years old and below and 60 years old and above, kailangan po, on your visa application, meron kayong immediate family na mag-garantor sa inyo na naka-residence visa dito sa UAE. If not, hindi po 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 pwede. Okay? But for those male, 19 years old, up to 59 years old, hindi na po kailangan ng immediate family na mag-garantor. Ang kailangan lang po namin requirements with that is your passport copy, and photo with white background. For female naman, is 31 years old up to 59 years old. Okay? Pero to those who really wanted to avail the 90 days visa, napapunta dito but they don't have an immediate family to guarantee them, we can give you the guys the leisure visa na hindi na po kailangan ng immediate family guarantor. But this one is a little costly. Medyo mahal siya ng konti. Market rate niyan is around 2,200. Visa pa lang po yan. Plus your ticket pa. Okay? And the requirement for this is just your passport copy with more than 6 months in validity. Okay? So, sana po nakatulong po ako sa pagsagot sa iyong tanong, Miss uh, Edlyn Aquino. Ayan, so PM me or you can send message to MPQ Tourism Facebook page. Hello kay Ate Connie de la Cruz who just enjoyed her travel to Armenia and Georgia. Ate, I am waiting for my red wine. <laughs> Please, is it 12 pieces ba? Mukhang talagang alak na alak na ako. You know what guys, I am started to love drinking kasi yung red wine from Armenia. It's because number one, red wine kasi maganda talaga siya for our health. And second, especially sa katulad ko na very workaholic and my brain is not stopping, okay? Kahit matutulog na lang talaga ako, Ayaw pa talaga. So, drinking red wine is, is nakakatunoy siya sa akin to get a better sleep. Kasi kapag may maayos kang tulog, you wake up like this. <laughs> you wake up like this. Okay. And sabi po ni El Guapito, Sir Johnny, magkano po ang A to A visa? Thanks po and God bless. Okay. Uh, El Guapito, I hope na napanood mo yung earlier explanations ko about different visas and qualifications. So if you are pasok po doon sa qualifications na binabanggit ko na you wanted to avail the one month visa it will be 1400 but if you wanted to avail the 3 months visa it will be 2150 okay so guys ang requirement po natin for A to A is of course your passport copy and photo with white background you know depending doon sa visa kung saan ka naka-qualify all right kaya again guys if you are really in need na talaga to Avail the airport to airport. Send me a message, guys, mentioning your age and your gender, of course, para po mabigyan namin kayo ng correct quotation. Okay, kasi yan po yung uh, kaibahan ngayon because ang Sharjah visa kasi na 3 months is mas mura kaysa sa Dubai visa, ng leisure visa na 90 days. Okay, so sabi po ni... Hello kay Joel who's watching us today. Hello kay MJ Lim. Good morning po Sir Johnny watching from Al Jubail City Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So good morning po sa inyong lahat. And also to Joan Pugusa. Good morning Kuya Johnny. Okay guys, wait. I have a very urgent message. Okay, na-block na daw. Na daw po ako sa system na di. Okay guys, I have one client kasi I just like to share it to everyone. 
if especially guys sa mga naka-visit visa natin at tourist visa guys, please take good care of your passports. Okay? Kasi I have one client um accidentally, okay, na isama niya sa washing machine ang kanyang passport. So nalabhan. All the information naman na sinandoon, but then it's it's washed. So definitely the form and yung itsura is different. Now she's about to take her A to A exit. But unfortunately, immigration in charge doesn't accept yung kanyang passport kahit pa she check it sa sa immigration ng Dubai that they said it's okay. And what else? Uh nag humingi siya ng tulong from Philippine consulate pero wala ring nagawa. So I think the option she has now since the only immigration na nag-okay doon sa itsura ng kanyang passport is Dubai passport, Dubai immigration. So I think the option na pwede nila niyang gawin is going to Dubai. So this is urgent guys, I will just up, uh, reply to this. Ginutom ako. <laughs> okay, sorry guys, ha? because we're doing our Facebook live at the same time we are on the floor. So, dito kasi sa MPQ Tourism, we prioritize clients. Kaya, since this is urgent, so I have to reply to this. Okay guys, so we are still on standby. If you guys any questions no, about Dubai visa or Sharjah visa or any visa, don't be shy. Just write down in the comment box below. Okay, so that's our breakfast, guys. They were late time kumakain. But anyway, guys, I have one question here from MJ Lim. Yung sabi niya, sir, sa darating na Eid Ada, may discount mo ba kayo for travel for travel visa? Oh, guys. Always remember po, if it's holiday, the ticket is expensive. Visa prices will never change po. It's, it's the same. Ang worry lang natin is ticket price always mataas during holidays. Yun yung problema. Okay, now, see guys, let's proceed with our discussion po. Nasabi nyo, what are the different visas na meron tayo? Okay. So, let's start guys with student visa. Visit visas. 
Sir, gusto ko mag-aral dyan, etc. etc. Gusto ko mag-avail ng student visa. Okay, so, here we go. So guys, for student visa, okay, this one cost uh, around 1,000 plus. To obtain this, a person should have a high professional staff. Ah, no, no, sorry. The person must be registered in one of the universities in UAE. Okay, and must obtain health insurance. Additionally, a refundable deposit of 1,000 must be paid. So, ibig sabihin po, kailangan enrolled na kayo dito. So, how can you do that? Actually, my answer to that is I don't know also. Maybe there are ways, no? Na maybe you have some relatives here na i-enroll kayo sa mga universities dito sa UAE. So, in that case, you can come here as a student visa. Okay? So, parang same with yung mga kababayan natin na pumupunta sa Australia. Okay, next. Uh, meron tayong tinatawag na special mission entry visa or transit. Ito yung mga madalas ko narinig, sir, naka-mission visa po ako. Okay, this is issued for a non-renewable 14 days for a fee of nasa 200 plus. A commonly known as transit visa. It is issued to businessmen and tourists sponsored by a company or commercial establishment or a hotel license to operate in the UAE. Visa holder must enter UAE within 14 days from the date of issue. Duration of stay is 14 days from the date of entry as well. Okay guys, ito dapat malinaw po tayo guys ha. Again, uh, marami po kasi talaga ang nalilito no? when it comes to visa uh, expiration. I will show you guys. I have to show you this. Hello, good afternoon. Good morning. Ayas po, anong sabi? Ah, uh, ayas pa. Oh, is it the same with your number? Ano pang WhatsApp number mo? Okay, sige, sige po. <coughs> Oo, ma'am. I-process na natin. Sure po, no problem. So, what I need, ma'am, is... Uh, ticket. Yes, ma'am, because we can only, uh, sa side po namin, ang maibibigay lang po namin is ticket lang. Yung visa po, yun nga, doon, kailangan nila mag-entry muna para ma magkumbaga, kailangan nila mag-entry muna sa airport para po ma-process natin yung kanilang visa. Oo. Ma'am, nagma-WhatsApp na ba tayo? Hindi pa. Oh, ma'am, can you send me message po para maano kita? So, yung traveler po natin are all females. Ilan po yung idin nila? More than 30 plus sila? Ay, yung 31 lang. Okay, no problem. Sige, send me a message, ma'am, and then I will reply you po. Yes, ma'am. Correct po. Uh -oh. Actually, ma'am, minsan 11 o'clock may start na po ng approval. Uh -oh. Okay, sige po. Please, ma'am, send me a message para may forward na kita na kung saan kayo pwede magbayad. Okay, sige po. Saan kaya siya nagme-message? Hello, Blezel, Karigma. Ayan, good afternoon. Good morning pa pala. Akala ko good morning na.
Okay, so let's proceed guys with our discussion. Sorry guys for some gaps ah, kasi we are working kasi on the floor. So, asa na tayo? Okay, so we already mentioned about special visa. Mission vi entry, I mean. So now let's proceed dito sa mission visa mismo. So mission visa is issued to purpose of temporary work in the country and issued for a maximum of 180 days. Wow, this is good. Mission visa, 180 days? So ilang months yun? Meron palang ganito? Ano? Well, six months. Okay, guys. So, so let's explain about this. Uh, with a combined fee of 1,800, it is issued for three months against a fee of 600 dirhams and can be renewed for another three months. Ah, uh, okay. So parang three months, three months. Pwede siyang i-renew. Okay, another three months against a fee of 1,200. Read more. Okay. So ibig sabihin, although guys, ganito, no? Um... Uh, we don't offer kasi yung mission visa. I have to discuss that soon. Kung ano pa yung mga risks, ano pa yung mga qualifications talaga about that mission visa. Okay, so ito naman, madalas na kinukuha po ng mga naka-transit visa. Ito ay iniisa sa mga travelers na naka-transit lang to Dubai. Through UAE Airport, it is issued for 96 hours. So that's four days. Oh, no. 96 divided by 24, 4 days nga. And must be sponsored by airline operating in UAE. The visitor must be must have a valid ticket onward flights. There's a charge of 160 dirhams. So, ibig sabihin po, ito yung mga nagta-travel. Na, I remember kasi I have one friend, she's actually working sa Saudi Arabia. And then she went to Dubai, parang meron siyang mahaba ang kanyang layover. So, kumuha siya ng transit visa. Parang visa upon arrival yun. And then, ayun, nakapamasyal siya rito ng ilang days and then bago siya umuwi sa Pilipinas. Okay guys, so ito na po ang multiple visa, entry visa natin. So, hindi po lahat po talaga ito pwede. Because sabi po dito, it is an option for businessmen, okay? Who are frequent visitors to UAE and who have a relationship with a reputable company here. So, ibig sabihin po guys, not everyone are qualified to avail po yung multiple entry. Kailangan may record ka talaga na you've been visiting Dubai every now and then and then kailangan meron kang connection with the big companies dito. Okay, next is of course yung residence visa. Ito, of course, alam nyo ng residence visa. This is for everyone who has employment dito and ayun, so alam nyo na yun. Kapag may trabaho ka na dito, may employment ka na, na-process na lahat ng documents mo, yung medical mo, yung Emirates ID, meron ka ng residence visa. And for investor's visa naman, it is issued to an expatriate investor in partnership with a local. So, ito po yung mga gusto na business dito. So guys, for as long as you are not a local kasi dito, for Filipinas of course, you cannot open a business here without a local na business partner. Although, there are some free zone companies na hindi kailangan ng local. Okay, iba po yun ha. So, kasi I have friends na they have a registered uh, in business dito under sa free zone companies so hindi nila kailangan ng local na partner okay so hmm. ano pa employment visa na mention na natin yung employment visa ito guys ang kaibahan ng residence visa sa employment visa employment visa or permit is issued by the immigration department to a foreign national who wishes to work for a company in the UAE upon approval of the ministry of labor it allows the holder, holder to enter the UAE. The UAE for employment and visa is valid for two months from the date of issue. Call again. So to those who has with employment visa na papasok dito, remember guys, two months in validity lang yan. So kailangan your employer should proceed your application into a residence visa. Hello, good morning. Yes pa. Uh, yes po man. Hindi siya talaga po, hindi lang siya ma'am for employment. Oo, yun yung sinabi ko rin sa kanya. Kasi kung Dubai, kung hawak na sa ng employment niya po, pwede talaga. Kasi hahanapan siya ng ano yun, ng valid visa pabalik. Eh, hindi naman po pwede sabihin na i-apply pa.
Hindi, for the meantime, is yung naka-hold yung pang visa niya, naka-standby sa atin. Kasi ang issue lang naman natin ngayon, di ba yung sabi ko nga sa inyo, yung ticket kasi is, in, 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 wala na. Iyon yung mapu-forfeit lang talaga. Hindi natin siya mababago. Kaya sabi ko sa kanya, if may chance, since di ba sabi nga, Dubai visa ang pwede, ah, di ba Dubai immigration ang umukoy sa kanya, baka pwede siya magpumunta mismo sa airport and ask directly to any immigration officers doon. Oo, na parang kunyari, kasi pupunta siya ng Pilipinas kunyari. Hmm. Okay, ganito yun. So, walang problema kung back to origin siya. Ang problema, paano naman yung pabalik niya? Baka hindi siya i-allow pabalik pagtanggap dito. Nag-iisip nga kami ng, ano, eh, ng, uh, ng options kung ano pa pwede. Yung konta kasi natin, wala talaga. Laging sinasabi nila sa always in immigration officer's decision. As, uh, for the meantime, pwede siya umuwi, pero tinan natin ano pa mga options. Pero sabi ko nga sa kanya, yun nga lang noong ito isa. Standby muna siya, we'll get more ano, uh, help pa kung paano lisip mo dadaan siya ng Dubai visa. Pero mas gusto ko sana dumaan muna siya sa, ano, ngayon, sa Dubai airport. Magtanong sa doon kasi like ngayon. Di ba hindi, like, hindi kasi natin na-check sa sergeant bago siya nag-check in kanina, no? hindi, hindi natin na-suggest na what if she will check doon kung paano yung options niya. Baka pwede ma'am, punta muna siya ng Dubai Airport. Tapos, oo, uwi na muna siya, punta siya ng Dubai Airport talaga just to make sure kasi mamaya marami tayong options na ibibigay sa kanya. Yun pala, hindi naman siya i-allow. Tanong niya ano yung options na pwede niya. Pwede ba siya sa ganitong ibang country or ganyan or to a region talaga. Oh, ha, kaya kung sakali, uwi na lang siya ng, ng Philippines, parang gano'n. Ayun, uh, sa case naman niya, ang first day niya is 200 dirhams, and then succeeding days is 25 dirhams. So, kailangan niya malaman from Philippine Consulate kung kailan talaga lalabas ang kanyang visa, ay, kanyang passport. Oo. Oh. Yun ang problema, kailangan niya i-report yun. Kailangan niya i-inform yung yung ganong case niya. Para hindi, at least para malinis. So kaya ang una niya gawin, if worse comes to worse, hindi talaga pwede. Needs, she needs to go to Philippine Consulate as for kung kailan yung yung renewed passport niya. And kapag nakuha niyang info, kailangan niya i-report sa, sa, sa company, previous company. Okay, sige. Okay, thank you. Okay guys, since super busy na po talaga, I think I have to stop this. Okay, kasi may mga clients na tayo. So, hello muna kay El Guapito. Sabi niya, Sir Juni, mayroon po bang visa na good for two years? Yung parang residence visa, hindi po po pwede. Wala pong ganun. Okay? So, I think that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much, of course, for watching uh, Epicuturism Live. Ayun, uh, we will try to to do the live streaming again. Kapag medyo nag-subside na po. So, I have some clients to face na kasi. And this is urgent. Thank you, guys. And have a nice day to everyone.